Emmy-nominated actress Diara Kilpatrick is the creator, executive producer, and star of the new BET Plus original series, Diara from Detroit. She plays a public school teacher about to be divorced. After her tender date goes missing, she starts an investigation to find him and prove he, that she wasn't ghosted. In this clip, Kilpatrick has a heart-to-heart -heart with her estranged husband, played by the one and only Morris Chestnut, about why they didn't have kids. Take a listen. Despite what I told my lawyer, it wasn't all your fault. When you wouldn't take those tests, I got pissed. I got hard to live with. Yeah, I did take those tests. No, no, no. No, you didn't. Not with my specialist. You took him with your frat brother with all the dangers. Oh, so he's not a reputable doctor because he had dangers? Come on. I'm just saying, so I, I played my part. I played the good wife whenever you needed me. I wanted a baby. <laughs> I mean, doctor Re need to take care of the dandruff, but okay. I mean, reviewers <laughs> call the show hilariously chaotic and a PI drama with flair. Diara. 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 Kilpatrick. Yeah. It's is like with Tiara us. with a D. Yes, I know. It's a beautiful name. So, thank you. first and foremost, thank you for joining us. I watched the series. It's hilarious. Thank you. It's, it's dark, but it's funny. It's mm -hmm. all these things, and it's fresh. I don't, I don't. I haven't seen anything out there like that. But you say this was inspired by some of your girlfriends. Yes, my girl. A lot of my girlfriends talk about, you know, they give me, they talk about dating with me a lot, mm -hmm. and a lot of them have been ghosted. A lot of them are the ghosters, and I was like, this is such a weird, prolific thing that's happening in dating, and I was like, I don't think I can handle it that well. You know, I've been married for a long time, but I felt like I would be the girl that would be trying to track the person down to ask for an explanation. Yeah. <laughs> so that's sort of where this idea came from. And you bring that idea to light. You said that you were able to demonstrate everything that you can do that the industry hasn't allowed you to do. What did you mean by that? Oh, I don't, I don't know that I, that I said that, but I feel like, you know, as an actor and a writer, um, it's always beautiful to showcase your talents, but more importantly, to sort of showcase the city that you come from yeah. and the love that you have for that city. And that, honestly, has been a blessing to be able to do that. Because you've grown up, I mean, you've been in Detroit pretty much your entire life. Yeah, born and, and raised. Started out acting at a very early age in theater. And yes. So this is something you were destined to do. You've worked very hard. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you feel that and have you embraced it? Yeah, you know, I've been on sort of a long journey, I, but my face is on a billboard in Times Square right now. <laughs> Amazing. Know? So I, I, you know, I have to say thank you, you know, when I wake up and think about how proud my mom is of me and just how obedient I've been to my dreams. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a little girl that had a dream, little black girl in Detroit that had a dream, wanted to entertain people. And it hasn't always been easy, but I've been obedient to that. So I'm, I'm proud of myself, too. So what I, Dorika was sort of touching on it, which is that this show takes a lot of different genres and puts them all into one yeah. really funny, but sometimes there are themes that you explore, missing black children, even in the, in the scene where you think you're getting robbed, yeah. which is a frightening experience that does happen to some people, but yeah. then the dude takes off his, his I guess it was, a, I don't know what he was, was, was he wearing a stocking or something on his face? Yeah. And then you know who that person is, and so there's a hilarious twist to some of the dark undertones that people are dealing with in Detroit. Yeah, absolutely. That actually happened to my mother. No. When I was growing up. Somebody yeah. tried to rob her and... She was robbed. And as the robbery is taking place, she's like, I think this is my friend's son. <laughs> and so she let it happen. Everybody's laughing in the, because like... Yeah, that's... she let it happen. And then the next day she went to the house and she said, man, your son robbed me. And, you know, he got a little butt whipping. You know, he was like uh, maybe 19 or right. something like that. Oh my God. And he took her to, fi to find where she had dumped her purse, where he had dumped her purse. Oh my God. And by the end, she was like, you're not gonna do that anymore, right? And they right. were kind of laughing right. and talking and it was all love. And I think that really exemplifies sort of the tone of the city mm. of Detroit. We don't ever really know what's gonna be quite around the corner, whether it's mm. gonna be a belly laugh, or whether it's gonna be something dangerous. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, their people are so imbued with a sense of heart and humor. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, it represents the spirit of the city. Dang, I really feel like I get the show now. That was a really beautiful answer. That's really well put. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm curious uh, about, talk about love. Yeah. Right, your husband is an executive producer and a writer on this show. Yeah, he is. How is that? Was that deepening the love, working together, or not? 
Listen, it did. A lot of people okay. were like, I can never work with my spouse. I don't know right. how you guys did it. And the thing is, it was a dream. It was very easy. He is aggressively solution-oriented. He's such a genius producer. And when I think about it, you know, we met as students at NYU studying theater. And one of our first dates was him watching me sort of do a one-woman show that I was rehearsing that I had written for studio and sort of giving me thoughts on it. So it really has been a part of our relationship from the very beginning. I love that. We've got yeah. more Beautiful. chestnut, Felicia Rashad. What kind of advice have they given you on this one? You know, they haven't really given me advice. They've done something better, which is exemplify grace. Mm -hmm. And they are really just the examples of how I want to conduct myself in this business. Yep. Both of them lovely, neither of them bad on the eyes. You know, uh, it's got that right. People <laughs> inside and out. Yeah. And that's what I want to take take from working with them is that's who I want to be in this business. Ciara Kilpatrick, we hope to see more of you. Thanks Thank for you. Sure. So wonderful. I'm Thank so happy you. this show is in our family, the Paramount Absolutely. Yeah. You can catch Diara from Detroit. It is streaming right now on BET Plus, which like CBS is a division of Paramount Global. So just download the app.